Good morning YouTube, Tin Can Gardener here. So I'm over here on the other side of my yard watering my kale which is actually looking pretty good. It's actually grown better since I put the beans in. Um, also watering my beans. This bed, these which I originally thought were okra for some stupid reason um, are actually uh, roselle. So I'm trying to grow them in this bed and some failed squash. It looks like it's hanging in there, but those daggum pickle worms tear it up. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how it's been going. Uh, getting ready to water the small greenhouse. Here's my black sapote tree. Yeah, it, it might flower here or there. I actually had one Suriname cherry come up. And I tried it, and I realized I don't really like Suriname cherries. Don't know why I'm growing them, but I have them. Maybe somebody does like them, and I can give them to them. I'm not big on them. Um, roosters crowing, usual, usual. So, that's what we got going on. Getting, been taking out trees. There used to be a giant Brazilian pepper tree over there. A bunch of trees right there we took out. So, we've been pretty busy. Brazilian pepper trees are horrible down here. Um, they are just terrible. They, they're they like weeds that are trees. And they grow rapidly. But this is my uh, Brazilian uh, cherry tree. And I'm just not big on it. I don't know. Mulberries are looking good. Give them some water. See, the roots are all tore up by rooting on nematodes, but it ain't affecting the plant, really. It's quite interesting. But, it's it's still producing, and my acerola cherry tree also still producing. I gotta get some mulch around there and clean up the bottom. Those shoots down there, those ain't good to have. I might actually air layer them, who knows. But yeah. And these trees love water, so keeping that busy. Water in the trees, water in the trees. If you see white bugs flying off, those, well, those are petals from flowers, but every now and again you'll see a white beetle fly around. Those are the Sri Lanka weevils that tear my tree up every year. So, you know, I give them a little what's for with some water hose. I'm going to have to hit this with neem again. So, there's that. Now I gotta walk all the way over to my tomato plants because I gotta water them. I gotta water my collard greens. I gotta water my bougainvillea. I gotta water my whole daggum forest. It's a lot of stuff to water, but you know. My silk floss tree is finally blooming. Well, not blooming, but getting leaves again. My daughter cleaned it out, cleaned out around it. So I'm going to put some pine needles around it so I can mulch it properly so it doesn't look that horrible. Color greens with gladiolus. Um, oh, these here are... Uh, you know, I would forget. These are... Hibiscus, there we go, and there's they're pink hibiscus, and my wife got them from the gardening channel, so we'll see what happens. The home network gardening channel, so they're supposed to get flowers the size of uh, dinner plates, so we shall see. Try to get all this out of the garden. Just seems like there we go. The shower wasn't wanting to work that much. Now we got some reach on it try to get as much stuff watered as possible while the sun isn't all the way up. It's the only tough thing about being in South Florida, man. Once that sun's up, it starts cooking everything. I should probably set these in the shade, but you know, me and my internal wisdom have decided not to. I call it laziness. You can call it whatever you want. Just trying to get everything watered. Cause it's supposed to be a warm one and then we're gonna have a couple storms coming in this week so that does happen from time to time there we go get all these guys watered and notice i'm watering all my tomatoes at the bottom 
That's because blight is just rampant down here. You know, if it starts raining too bad, these things will get blight and that'll be the end of my tomato season. Which is pretty much going to happen. If I get a few tomatoes for seeds, I'm happy. I'm not uh, going to stress out over a few tomatoes because mainly uh, most of these I want to save seed for. If I get food out of it, obviously that's awesome. I'll can some. I'll, you know, put some on my sandwiches. All that good stuff. See that little moth? Those things are horrid. Those are the little suckers that leave those uh, pickle worms. For some reason, and they're everywhere. You gotta water my son's plants, even though he should be out here watering, but he's at school right now, so I'll do him a solid. Because he'll be out here this afternoon watering. So, yeah. Pretty crazy. Hopefully everybody out there is staying safe and and happy and all that um uh you know i've been watching everybody's videos and their gardens are looking awesome indoor and outdoor um if you guys get a chance go check out uh our kansas woodcutter and um oh, i'm gonna mess this up tomato tent or tent tomato grower i probably messed that up but he knows who i'm talking about i'll put it in a description or something i'll figure it out but i mean he he, he grows some seriously awesome tomatoes indoors which you know if you can grow in a controlled environment that's awesome i do most of my stuff outdoors because i can i'm in south florida so it's a year-round venture while you guys are setting in snow i'm still gardening that's actually my gardening season Oh, look at this, look at this. That is an avocado, but down there at the bottom, yeah, got more stuff coming up, so. Woohoo, avocados are growing. Just trying to keep everything happy. Watered and happy, not easy. Uh, these allergies, man, I'm telling you. It's like, do I have COVID? Am I gonna die? No, I have allergies. So, yeah, it's pollen season. All the palm trees are throwing their pollen here. So the bees are busy. Um, very busy, as a matter of fact. And I am busy. Look at these tomatoes. They need watered something awful. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of blight got on these. I, I can't win them all, I guess. I'm trying, though. Just trying to keep everything watered as much as possible. We're actually in drought season. So, yeah, fun stuff. Keep some of this stuff watered. Over there, all this. Yeah, it's always fun keeping stuff watered. I think I have peach seed in there. I got a couple peach seeds I'm going to try to grow. They're in my freezer right now. Because I want them to get that... Uh, that uh, cold snap so whenever I put them in the ground I trick them into growing yeah all right now I gotta go in my greenhouse and water everything in there yeehaw here we go in the greenhouse change my settings to mist mainly for the lettuce and stuff and somebody had a question about growing lettuce in the shade here. Yeah, you can grow lettuce in the shade here, but it's gotta be a specific lettuce. It's gotta be heat tolerant. This will bolt in no time flat. You will not see me put this in my garden beds because it wouldn't survive. In the winter time, yeah, it'd probably be a good time to do it, but right now, no, bad time. Uh, these watermelons are gonna be going in soon though. I'm putting them somewhere. Because they got to go out of here because they're going to be way too big for this little greenhouse. And some people are surprised that I still got a lot of stuff in my greenhouse. But it's just how it is for me. Um, I'm, I'm keeping my greenhouse pretty stuffed. Due to the fact of the heat and all that. I don't want too much of my stuff being cooked. But what I'll do is I'll eventually start moving most of this stuff out of here 
like the eggplants and the peppers they'll be coming out of here soon they got a good transplanter obviously but like the melons I'm gonna get those out of here I just know as soon as I do the pickle worms are gonna tear them up um, I might actually plant one around the beehive so I get at least one melon that'd be nice um, I got a lot of stuff a lot of peppers going on over here more tomatoes 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 and I'm just trying to keep these things watered until I give them away or get them in the ground and yeah that fan sorry guys I know it's loud that's why I'm talking a little bit louder so but that's what I got going on today guys I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, subscribe hit the like button leave a comment and uh, let me know how you liked it and feel free to uh, let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks on growing lettuce in South Florida. Alright, thanks. Later.